You know, at some point, I bumped into this other lady, a Christian lady, you know? And I was just like surprised because I felt like, huh, these days, it's kind of hard to find Christian ladies, especially maybe around where I am. And I mean, devoted Christian women. So when I saw her, like, I was like, oh, wow, I guess there's still, there's still Christian ladies. So now the next thing was for me to look at her and be like, oh, okay, could she possibly be that Christian lady, that one you know, could um, most probably get married too, or what? What if she's interested, she was to be interested in me? I, I, I pictured it like that. But then looking at her, she's beautiful and stuff, but now the pickiness started showing off. But like, no, ah, but she's not exactly like, 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 and you can see this person is beautiful. You get what I'm saying? So that ended up reminding me something. Hallelujah. Anyways, by the way, hello everyone my name is ishmael and most especially if you're watching me for the first time you're welcome to this video feel free to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell on your right so you know every time i upload new videos like this so this uh it's been going on for some days i think for some time now and i was like i should make a video about this you know because this uh made me to realize what i once taught in the past that's why, like, even people like me, personally, I'm teaching you something that I've also felt or experienced. That I know that it happens with us Christians. It happens a lot. Where you God gives you somebody, somebody suitable for you. You know that you can match, they have everything. But then now you feel like, oh, this man, if only if he had some muscles a little bit or... This lady, only if she had those KV legs, you know, a little bit. You, you get what I'm saying? You can tell that it's not even something major, but the pickiness in you starts to show off, to show up. And then, as a result, you decide not to be with that person. And at the end of the day, you end up falling for someone who's not even a believer. And the cycle repeats again that the relationship ends up bad. It doesn't even end in marriage. Go back to God crying, give me, give me, give me, Lord. When God Almighty sends someone suitable for you, you look at them, nah, nah, this is not what I want, this is not, but you've been asking God to give you somebody suitable. That's where we go wrong. Allow me to tell you that most, at times, it's also our fault as Christians. It's time we get to sit down and check ourselves. I was glad that personally I could also check myself. I mean, check myself. And I realized the error that is easy to put us down, you know, to eat, make us make decisions that we're not supposed to make. And I was like, this is what my brothers uh, and sisters, they are also going through. So that's why if I would, there was one advice I would advise you is to get rid of the pickiness in you. When you bump to something cool, because it's not a matter of you just saw somebody whom totally the opposite of what you wanted. No, it's not about that. Someone can come and find out exactly what you've been looking for, but the pickiness in you starts to show up. And it shows up and you start to not want to have to with that person. I remember a friend of mine also in the same situation. There are some Christian ladies that he always brings them up tells me about they were in a similar situation where he approached or he wanted to approach but they started being picky he even were had this other lady describing the exact man that he was, she wants this other one as well but at the end of the day even to this very day those ladies are single and sometimes even in their social media they do post on how they are waiting patiently for the Lord. But me, knowing my friend so much that he is such a good person, a very devoted Christian man, I'm like, this lady is like, what's up with them? Like, because this man, I don't see what's wrong. What kind of a man are they exactly looking for? But let me tell you that I get to understand what they are going through. They are not doing it deliberately. Most Christians in the world are like this. They, 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 do, it's not like God does, they never get, uh, 
we don't bump into someone who's a Christian, what we exactly what we're looking for, but some way, somehow we get to feel like we want something better. We picture a perfect person who still have the the attributes of a devoted Christian. And there is most likely not that such a thing is very hard to find. Because listen to this, let's try to reason this out. When somebody is more physically attractive, their temptations become too high. Most women would be all over that man. Most men would be all over that woman because she's so beautiful. And most likely she will fall for one of those men that keep approaching her because the approaches are too high, are too much. Women are busy all over that man. Most likely there will be one lady whom he gets tempted to fall for. Hence, with such a person, it's easy that they can backslide, they can fall, a lot can happen. That's why when we aim for those things, they have their advantages and disadvantages. Hallelujah. So that's the thing that's getting in the way. The delays are not necessarily because no. And there are these sayings. Churches, they'll be teaching, tell God exactly what you want. He will give you exactly. It's like they don't compromise on that. And we, even when you look at it scripturally, even Eliezer or Abraham never described absolutely perfection. He just said, someone good from the country where I come from. A good lady who can be suitable for Isaac. Then the rest was up to Eliezer to pray and was up to him and God. Give me sir, the world, the person whom you have chosen for my master's son. And then Rebecca showed up. He never said, but Lord, let that lady be too beautiful. Let that lady be a virgin. Let that lady be, have calves. Let that lady be prayerful. Let, you get what I'm saying? Then you describe all the perfection. And how do you expect God to answer such a prayer? Because... The moment somebody comes who is not as prayerful as you described, that is the wrong person. Somebody comes, she does not have those calves, but she's beautiful, but no calves. What happens? She's not the one. Or a man shows up. He must be driving maybe a Mercedes uh, or a BMW, and he must be living in a, uh, a mansion. Somebody comes, they are driving a Mercedes, but they are not living in a mansion. What happens? Nah, that's not the one. Obviously, now you're gonna... That's why the searches won't end. We describe something which is very impossible. It's very common. Someone will be like, I want this, 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 this. And sometimes it becomes harder because when we go there, say we want this, 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 this. On our own, we are not like that. On our own, we have so much imperfections. We did not perfect ourselves so that that person could look at us and like and say, he has this, 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 this and that. To us, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. A cross. Someone wants someone who smells nice and all dresses well, but you don't dress well yourself. I, I would say, I normally like watching this program and these women would be like, I want a man with money and he wears a car. And some men got to the point where they'd be like, do you, do you yourself have a car? Do you have that money? You don't. You get what I'm saying? So as a result, we want something. That's what's causing the delays. But all in all, as I wrap this video up, this is the thing. Now that you're looking for someone suitable, somebody good, be willing to go for whomever God has chosen for you. And don't base it on physical appearance so much, the imperfection so much. No, don't let that person, don't make it that the, that person must be perfect. But look for something that is most important. Then the rest you can overlook. Okay? Just because you're looking that you want to marry a black man strictly, that will make it harder. Or you strictly want to marry a white person or a white man that will make it harder. There is this other lady, she said the same thing. I want to marry a white man. And she's a black woman. And she's surrounded, I believe, mostly by black men. So tell me, what are the chances? What are the chances? And she has already told God that's what she wants. Meaning, she won't say yes to any man. What if God has ordained her to be with a black man? 
That's the problem. That's the problem. I can't go there and say I'm going to marry a white lady. What if God never told me that? It's better I say if God, my desire is to be married to a white woman. You know? But then if God is to tell me that no, that my wife is someone who is a black lady, then I'll have no choice but to obey. You get what I'm saying? That should be my move. It should be, you know, if I will know that it's not exactly what I personally wanted, but that is what God wanted. It's a matter of whom God sees best for you. And quickly you will get married. And may God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And of course, that's all I had for in today's video. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as for me, Ishmael Eno, please, I will see you in the next video upload. Please remember also to check me on my DM or my Instagram. The details are in the description of the video below for prayer requests and spiritual advices. Bye.